Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain track snapshots in Waveform. This is Waveform version 11. This feature started in Waveform 10. The way snap track shots work is you can do a revision control or create a save point at any point on a track, say before you make a major edit. It allows you to roll back to that save point or that snapshot point in case you need to, in case something goes wrong and you're just really not happy with the direction your edits are taking you. So here's how it works. You find this feature by right clicking on the track header for any track. And here is the feature track snapshots. The options are add snapshot, sync snapshots across tracks. And then this area would allow you to do the rollback if we had snapshots in place. When you have sync snapshots across tracks, when you recall snapshots, it will then recall them for all of the tracks that were saved along with that. The way you do the saves is you select the tracks you want. So I'm gonna select all of them at this point. And then you right click in the header for any of the tracks, choose the track snapshots and then add a snapshot. At this point, we give it a name. I'm just gonna call it first. I usually like to give it a little bit more description here before any edits. I'm gonna make one of the simplest edits, which is a color change for the tracks. And we'll just change these to a very obviously different color. Let's go with this yellow. And at this point, I'm going to select again. I have to do a selection across all the tracks that I want included. I'll right click, track snapshot, add snapshot, and then this will be second color change to yellow. Maybe that's orange. And then click OK. Now, if I right click on any of these tracks, you'll see here is my first and my second. If I click on first, I just immediately roll back to that save point. Then I can right click on any of the tracks, go to the snapshot and I'll go to second and I'm back there. So I'm gonna do a simple edit by just putting a slice in here. So at bar 33, I'll just select all of the tracks and put a split right there. Again, I'll do a selection save the track snapshot, add snapshot. This is my third one now after split. And then the fourth one, I'm going to delete this part of the song. And then once again, I'm gonna do a snapshot. Now, obviously you would probably do a lot more work than this, but I'm demonstrating how the feature works. Track snapshot, add snapshot. And then this is my fourth save point after I cut the intro off the song. Every time you do these, make sure you click OK to save it. Now at this point, as long as I've got sync across tracks, I can roll back to any of these points. So let's go back to the first before any edits. There it's still blue, nothing is cut. And then let's jump to the third one after I put in a split. There's also gonna be a color change. You could see that I can jump right to that point or I can go to the fourth one after I deleted the intro. So it gives me a quick way to roll back through all those. Now, if I wanted to just do this for one of the tracks, I only want to roll back, say, the kick drum, then I could go to track snapshots, turn off the sync across tracks, and then just the track I right click on will be the one that's used to do this restoration. So I'll go to the first, and you can see that now only that track goes back to the beginning point. Now, if you select just one track as you're doing the saves, of course, you can do this within a single track, which you might want to do if you're doing significant edits on, say, a vocal or something like that, and want to create those save points without saving the entire edit. I think it's a very interesting feature. Now, there's a couple other things you can do here. If we right-click on the header, you can see that within any of these, you can rename them to give it maybe a more descriptive intro. Fourth one was your best take, then you could do something like renaming it so that it says best take. So that's one feature you've got there. And then the other thing is you can delete them. So the one with the color change, maybe we'll just delete that because it wasn't that important. You just click this and then that goes away. So then let's turn on our sync across tracks again and then roll this back to the beginning of the video. And there we're back where we started. It's an interesting feature. 
Now you know it exists and how to use it. Track snapshots in waveform. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.